triangle and its properties. In this module, you will learn about triangle and its properties. A triangle is a simple closed polygon which is made up of three line segments. A triangle has three sides, three vertices and three angles. A triangle is denoted by the Greek letter delta. Triangle ABC can be written as triangle ABC, triangle BCA or triangle CAB. In a triangle ABC, there are three parts. Interior region where the points lie inside the region enclosed by a triangle. The interior points are P and S on the sides where the points lie on the sides of the triangle. On the sides are R and T and exterior region where the points lie outside the region enclosed by a triangle. Exterior point is Q in the given figure. The interior of triangle ABC together with the triangle ABC itself is called the triangular region ABC. In triangle ABC, line segments AB, BC and CA form the triangle. These three line segments are called sides of the triangle ABC. A vertex of a triangle is a point where any two sides meet. In triangle ABC, the sides AB and AC meet at point A. Therefore, A is the vertex of the triangle ABC. Vertex B is a point where the sides BC and AB meet. And vertex C is a point where sides AC and BC meet. Thus, A, B, C are called the three vertices of triangle A, B, C. Every triangle has three angles. In the triangle A, B, C, its three interior angles are angle B, A, C, angle A, B, C and angle A, C, B. Angle B, A, C can also be written as angle A. Angle A, B, C as angle B and angle ACB as angle C. All these represent as interior angles of the triangle ABC. Triangles can be classified according to their properties of angles and sides. According to the angles, a triangle can be classified as acute angle triangle, right angle triangle or Obtuse angle triangle. Acute angle triangle. If each angle of a triangle is acute, it is called an acute angle triangle. The figure shows an acute angle triangle as each of its angle is less than 90 degree. Right angle triangle. If one of the angles of a triangle is a right angle, it is called a right angle triangle. The given figure shows a right angle triangle PQR as angle PQR is equal to 90 degree. Also, angle P plus angle R is equal to 90 degree. That is, sum of two acute angles of a right angled triangle is always 90 degree. Obtuse angle triangle. If a triangle has an obtuse angle, it is called an obtuse angle triangle. In the given figure, triangle XYZ is an obtuse angle triangle, as angle XYZ is equal to 110 degree. According to the sides, a triangle can be classified as isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle or scalene triangle. 
isosceles triangle. A triangle in which at least two sides are equal is an isosceles triangle. In the given figure, ABC is an isosceles triangle, as AB is equal to AC. Equilateral triangle. A triangle with all its sides equal is called an equilateral triangle. In the given figure, ABC is an equilateral triangle, as side AB is equal to side BC equal to side AC. In an equilateral triangle, all the three angles are also equal. That is, angle ABC equals to angle BCA equals to angle CAB. Also, each angle is equal to 60 degree. Scalene Triangle If all the three sides of a triangle are unequal, that is the sides are of different lengths, the triangle is called a scalene triangle. Sum of the lengths of two sides of a triangle. Draw triangle ABC. Now find the sum of any two sides and compare it with the third side. We see that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. Difference between the lengths of two sides of a triangle. Take the same triangle and now find the difference between the lengths of any two sides and compare with the third side. We see that the difference between the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is less than the length of the third side. Altitudes of a triangle. In our daily life, you might have come across the word height. How do you measure the height of these following objects? You will measure it from the top point of the object to its base point. Now, for a triangle ABC, the height is the distance from vertex A to base BC. There can be many lines from A to BC. Among these, which will represent the height? The height is given by the length of the line segment that starts from A and is perpendicular to BC. Thus, the line segment AD is the altitude of the triangle and its length is considered as its height. An altitude is the perpendicular segment from a vertex to its opposite side. It can be drawn from each vertex. Median of a triangle For a given triangle ABC, find the midpoint of side AB, BC and CA. Mark the midpoints as F, D and E respectively. Join the vertex A to the midpoint of its opposite side at point D. Vertex B to the midpoint of its opposite side at point E. And vertex C to the midpoints of its opposite side at F. Line segments AD, BE and CF joins the vertices of the triangle to the midpoints of the opposite sides. They are called the medians of the triangle. A median of a triangle is a line segment joining a vertex to the midpoint of the opposing side. Every triangle has exactly three medians. The three medians intersect each other at a point in the interior of the triangle. This point of intersection is called the centroid. Draw any triangle ABC on a piece of paper. Cut the triangle. Now, we have triangle ABC. Now cut out the marked angle A and C. Draw a straight line on a sheet of paper. Take the cutout of angle A and angle C and place them adjacent to each other on straight line, as shown here. Now place angle B adjacent to angle C 
on the straight line. Since all angles of a triangle when placed adjacent to each other completely fit on a straight line, their sum is equal to straight angle, that is, 180 degree. Theoretical proof Statement The sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Given a triangle ABC, to prove angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals to 180 degree. Construction Through vertex A, draw a line segment PQ parallel to BC. Proof Mark the angles as indicated in figure. From the figure we see that angle 2 is equal to angle 5 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 as they are alternate angles formed by parallel lines PQ and BC. Adding both equality, we get angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 5 plus angle 4. Now adding angle 1 to both sides, we get angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to angle 1 plus 5 plus 4. Now angle 1 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 180 degree as they are forming straight angle. Therefore, angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 is also equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is also equal to 180 degree. Hence proved, sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Exterior angle of a triangle Draw any triangle ABC and produce one of its sides, say BC, as shown here. Now, angle ACD, formed at point C, lies in the exterior of triangle ABC. Therefore, it is called as exterior angle of triangle ABC, formed at vertex C. So, angle BCA is an adjacent angle to angle ACD. The remaining two angles of triangle, namely angle BAC or angle A and angle CBA or angle B are called the two interior opposite angles of angle ACD. If we cut the angle A and angle B, and place them adjacent to each other and overlap on angle ACD, we see that ACD is equal to angle A plus angle B. So we can say that an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles. Theoretical proof Statement An exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. Given triangle ABC with angle ACD as exterior angle. To prove angle ACD equals to angle A plus angle B. Construction. Through C, draw CE parallel to BA. Proof. From the figure we see that Angle 1 equal to angle X, as BA is parallel to CE and AC is transversal. So they form alternate angles. So they are equal. Angle 2 is equal to angle Y, as BA is parallel to CE and BD is transversal. So they form corresponding angles. So they are equal. Now adding both, we get angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to angle X plus angle Y. Therefore, angle ACD equals to angle 1 plus angle 2 as angle X plus angle Y is angle ACD. Thus, 
the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. This property is called the exterior angle property of a triangle. Exterior angle of a triangle. Draw any triangle ABC and produce one of its sides, say BC, as shown here. Now, angle ACD formed at point C lies in the exterior of triangle ABC. Therefore, it is called as exterior angle of triangle ABC formed at vertex C. So, angle BCA is an adjacent angle to angle ACD. The remaining two angles of triangle, namely angle BAC or angle A and angle CBA or angle B are called the two interior opposite angles of angle ACD. If we cut the angle A and angle B and place them adjacent to each other and overlap on angle ACD, we see that ACD is equal to angle A plus angle B. So we can say that an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles. Theoretical proof Statement An exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. Given triangle ABC with angle ACD as exterior angle. To prove angle ACD equals to angle A plus angle B. Construction. Through C, draw CE parallel to BA. Proof. From the figure we see that angle 1 equal to angle X as BA is parallel to CE and AC is transversal. So they form alternate angles. So they are equal. Angle 2 is equal to angle Y as BA is parallel to CE and BD is transversal. So they form corresponding angles. So they are equal. Now adding both we get angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to angle X plus angle Y. Therefore Angle ACD equals to angle 1 plus angle 2 as angle X plus angle Y is angle ACD. Thus, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. This property is called the exterior angle property of a triangle.